Alrighty, I'm back. Uh, I just realized for this part, it kept crashing right here. I did this like I tried to do this three times. But this final part, when you're trying to go to war, you have to let set your settings down to low. If you are having this crash, I mean I've been having a crash and I just finally got it to fix. Uh, but once I go into Am armor anthing and then I can raise my textures back up again. But um, yep. Commander, many of the lords have gathered. The Darkspawn have fielded armies, and the nobles want to know how you will protect them. Shall I assemble them, or do you need more time to strategize? Assemble the men, we're going to war. I will send messengers at once. We've waited enough. Those who are late will just have to be filled in. Lord Edelbrecht, this is the commander of the Greys Council, not yours. I am fearful for the villagers on the plains. There's a darkspawn army, army, in the field, and with the soldiers returning to the vigil. Pull yourself together. In war, there are casualties. This is no... Commander! Commander! What is it, girl? A darkspawn army is within sight of Amaranthine. Make her protect us. They're attacking the city? Some of the vigil soldiers are still there. She won't fall easy. Our forces cannot move quickly enough, but a small band might make it in time. But that's suicide. We must try. Then I'll ra rally the city's defenders. If anyone can turn the Darkspawn tide, it would be you, Commander. Fighting a horde of Darkspawn with almost certain death awaiting? Don't even think of leaving me here, Captain. Who do you want to take with you, Commander? My good old friend Ogryn? Uh, that's me. <laughs> it's just one measly darkspawn army. I got your back. Who else will you bring? The Mage Anders. And here I thought I'd retire to the country with a plump wife and several nubile mistresses. <sighs> I suppose it'll have to wait. Who else will you bring? Nathaniel, this is your chance to redeem your family. Initially, I thought you were utterly mad to invite me to join your order. But redemption? A man could die for that, and feel good about it. And so it is decided. Don't you go dying on me, Commander. That's the Legion's job. If I ever had doubts of you, they are erased. Fight nobly, and if you die, die with honor. May the wind be ever at your back, Commander. The rest of us will stay here. Make her protect you and hold you close, Commander. All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to change the settings back up. Okay, let's go kill this dude. <laughs> Please, Grey Warden, save my family. My family's in the city. Please calm yourselves while I speak to the Warden Commander. Warden Commander, I am glad you arrived when you did, but I fear there is little that can be done now. Would you, weren't you in charge of Amaranthine's defense? I failed in my duty. 
But believe me, Warden Commander, there was no chance for success. A couple of nights ago, a swarm of, of gruesome creatures emerged from beneath the city. They spread pestilence and destroyed everything they touched. Then at dawn, the other Darkspawn attacked. Warden Commander, it's too late. Amaranthine is lost. Snap out of it, man. People will still live. The buildings might remain, but there will be few survivors so long after those creatures appeared. Their corruption is so virulent. At least a quarter of the city succumbed within the first day. Constable, there is a Darkspawn approaching alone. Archers, take him down. Peace. Do not be killing. Only talk. Architect has a message for Grey Warden. Stand down, Constable. As you wish, Commander. The Mother's army. It marches to Vigil's Keep. She attacks now. The Architect, he sends me to warn you. You must save the Keep, then finish the Mother in her lair. Why were you sent to warn us? The Architect wishes to have the Grey Warden's trust. He does not wish to see the Mother succeed. If we leave now, we may be able to make it back to the Vigil in time to save it. And what about the Darkspawn here? Soon, they will go to Vigil's keep as well. The Mother, she wants the keep destroyed utterly. Uh, the Darkspawn has a point. We cannot leave with this other army hot on our heels. The constable says the city is lost. I say we destroy it, burn it, and all the darkspawn within. So be it. Destroy the city. You can't be considering this! Burning a city that has stood for generations? Trade will collapse without amaranthine. Oh, wake up, boy. You're talking about stone and mortar. You want to destroy the wardens for a bunch of rocks? This is wrong. And if there's even one innocent person in there, we... we can't just... But what about the keep? Do you want to abandon the people there? You... Uh, you're right. Amaranthine is just... it's just a shell now. No one lives. The constable said so himself. Then Amaranthine will burn. Maker, forgive us for what we are about to do. This was always been a hard choice. This is actually the first time I think I chose burning armor anything down. So you lied to me, there was people there. I'm sure Anders is hella mad at me. C Commander. You're here? You you didn't abandon me after all. You have returned. I did not think you would. You're very good at saving people from certain death, aren't you? So rare that someone's glad to see me. I think I'll bask in this for a while. I don't know how you got here in time, but Andraste's blood, we could use your help. A few days after you left for Amaranthine, we spotted the Darkspawn. A whole army. The walls have been bloodied, but the worst is yet to come. The city lies in flames to bring me here. Let's make it count. Amaranthine. Burned? The city was already sacked. The survivors diseased. Or worse. I... I... Are the preparation repairs complete? Aye, Commander. There will be no ogres bursting through your walls anytime soon. Master Wade has been working night and day, sir. Your men are properly geared. 
What men do I have in reserve? The men I brought for the War Council are still assembled here. We have not forgotten what you have done for us, and our people. I'm not a half-bad shot with a bow. I'll be on the tower. If you want me to harass any particular Darkspawn, just point them out. Darkspawn by the scores and a handful of stone is all that separates us. Ah, <sighs> feels like home. With the lyrium sands you gave me, I cooked up some real surprises for the catapult. Just holler if you want a whole mess of beasties to meet their maker. We're ready. Take your preparation. Uh, take your position. As you command. Scouts report the Darkspawn are advancing on the walls. I will fight with you, Commander. My scouts will let us know where the fight is fiercest. Okay, we're still gonna go with my three trios. The Warden Commander has arrived. The Mother will be most pleased with our Herald. We break this keep. We break the Wardens. We leave only Ash. Okay, so Anders is not mad at me, which is super. Which, and shocking, actually. Nope, he still likes me. Destroying everything in sight. This we way, Commander! We shall be victor. We must press forward, Commander! Pretty heavy over here, people. Where's that ogre? The children are attacking the east wall. Commander, we must aid them. Get off. We need to add some 
stand of my potions here. No, oh, you stupid. I needed to use all of them. Whatever. Just do that. What? Okay. I'm not chasing you. Children are dead. The front gates may need us, Commander. The front gates are falling! We need help! I'm gonna destroy <laughs> Together, men! Undressed his blood! Ho! On me! For the Wardens! For Amaranthine! The walls hold! Commander, did we win? Hold on, Beryl. Healer, healer! <laughs> I've seen enough of battle to know <laughs> I'm a dead man. It has, it has been an honor, sir. Fight them with everything. You have.
Rest easy, old soldier. You will not be forgotten. He's dead, Commander. There's nothing I can do. Can you fools do nothing right? The walls still stand. Send in the ogre. But the warden commander, leave for me. We have Lord, mere moments before the battle are ready, resumes. Commander. If you need Poultice's commander, just ask. Um. Uh, no, I'm pretty good. Here they come! I must retreat oh. to the keep. Good luck. Yes. There we Yard is overrun. We must fall back to hold the keep's gates. Okay, give me one second. All right, back. We're about to fight the Herald right now, and he's the dude that was leading everyone here. All right. Oh my God. We've... we've won. The price was dear, but the vigil holds. Verrill... Verrill would be proud. I couldn't abandon my friends to die. No.
This battle is won, but the mother is still out there. Captain! Commander! I've news. We know where the Darkspawn came from. Their retreat left a trail even the greenest of recruits could follow. They will pay for what they've done to my lands and people. The army has taken heavy losses. Dead. Wounded. It will be some time before they can mobilize again. The commander has the right of it. Every day you wait is another day of broodmothers spawning new evil. I'll travel light and fast. We've seen you in action, Commander. You and your companions are an army all on your own. Mainly just me, but okay. <laughs> all right. Now, before we go, I think I can sell some items, last minute items and stuff. So we'll be, wait, can I go out there now? Oh, nope. Apparently a herald spawns in here. Dragon's Peak, I don't know. Blessing Divine, oof. All right, well, give me a moment. I have to go through my inventory now. Ah, saw it! What's the matter? Nothing. Stub my toe. Just one of those days. Actually, it's been one of those weeks. Ah. I know what you mean. I've just been thinking about Felsi and the Nugget. Didn't do right by them, did I? Not one bit. That's what I like about you. You're honest. Like a sock to the gut. I think Felsi knew. Even if she never acknowledged it to herself. She knew I could never settle down again. I did once and, well, you know. It's done now. You can't go back. How are we? I don't think you tried hard enough. I probably. But now I'm here and I'm free. Felsi will get by if I know her. But the Nugget, that's got me all torn up inside, Commander. Little one won't understand. Should have thought that before you joined. No, no, there is no reason you can't be a part of your child's life. Maybe I could visit once in a while, write some letters. That's the least I could do as a father. And hey, <laughs> the little one will grow up thinking daddy's a great hero. I'll even vouch for you. Oh, you. Get going before I get misty-eyed. Go on. We shall be victorious. All right. Give me one moment. I want to do some selling. All right, here we go. To the lair of the mother. There might be a battle between here and there. Amaranthi is uh, gone, gone. Whoa. Oh. Not a fan of that noise. All right, well, give me one moment. I'm going to skip until we get all the way down there. So I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, there is a boss here we get to fight, and it's very unique boss at that. Um, I think it shows up in Dragon Age 2 in a DLC, but does not show up in Dragon Age 3. Or Inquisition. <laughs> Oh, okay. Maybe it's not this one. Maybe it's a DLC I was thinking of. But, alright, give me one moment. I'm about to kill everything here. Alright, we're back. We killed the dragon. I don't know if there's a cutscene right when we get in here, so... Let's check real quick. Oof. There isn't? There is a staircase, though. Oh, what's over here? It's gonna be like a trap. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Money. Not for my money back. Oh, no. Alright. Well, give me one moment then. A 
And so we meet again. No, Uther. That is not how this must begin. I owe you an apology, Commander. When last we met, I intended to explain myself. Fate, however, intervened. You experimented on me. I restrained you only to prevent the misunderstanding that occurred with the rest of your order. Yeah, the sort of misunderstanding that ends with a field of dead bodies. Uh-huh. I get those sometimes. I sent the Withered to ask for the Grey Warden's help. I should have anticipated that you might view our approach as an attack. I am rarely able to judge how your kind will react. It was most unfortunate. Unfortunate you took those men and bled them dry. The Grey Wardens that were brought to me were already dead. I took their blood just as I took yours, because I had little choice. Things have not gone as I planned. I only ask that you hear me out. Should you still wish to slay me afterwards, you may try. Fine, I'll hear you out. My kind has ever been driven to seek out the old gods. This is our nature. When we find one, a blight is begun. Each time we attack your surface lands and you fight back until we are defeated. To break the cycle, my brethren must be freed of their compulsion. For that, I need Grey Warden blood. You're trying to stop blights? Hundreds of thousands of my kind are killed before each blight is ended. It is a plague on our race. We do not begin a blight because we crave power or destruction. We obey the call of the old gods without choice. How would you free the Darkspawn? In order to become what you are, you drink the blood of my kind to transform. Similarly, we must transform. I have created a version of your joining that uses the blood of Grey Wardens. You take the taint into yourself. What we take is your resistance. That is how my brethren are freed. In your blood lies the key to their immunity against the call of the old gods. I like my blood where it is, in my veins. Um... How do the Darkspawn change afterwards? Once they are freed, the Darkspawn think for themselves. They speak. They act. Some, however, have reacted poorly. They are flawed and they rage against me. The mother gathers them to stop me, as she seeks to stop you. I cannot defeat the mother alone, and I cannot free the Darkspawn unless she is defeated. Our goals are the same. Darkspawn or no, he has a good point. Do we really want to keep killing each other forever? Help me kill the mother, and after it is done, I will leave to continue my work. What is this mother exactly? My most flawed creation. Freedom drove her mad, and she has poisoned the minds of the others. She has influence with the ones who have not been freed, and she gathers them as an army. I do not seek to rule, my brethren. I only seek to release them from their chains. Perhaps the other Darkspawn don't want to be freed. And how would they know when the choice has been deprived of them? Without choice, there is only one path before them, and that leads to the Blight. I believe there is another way. Stealing the blood from Wardens is preserved. I thought it little different from your order's use of Darkspawn blood. 
We both do what we must in response to the Blight. The first blood came from Uther, freely given. She was a Grey Warden, as you are, and joined us many years ago. Um, how do you become freed? I was born as I am, an outsider amongst my kind. Why? I do not know. Why do some of your kind become Grey Wardens? Why do some possess magic? I have no answers. I can't trust the Darkspawn. After so many things, this guy is just going to drain every Grey Warden, and we need every Grey Warden to wipe every Darkspawn. Uh... You know, for this playthrough, we'll... We'll, um, ally with him. What if he's wrong? What if this doesn't stop the blight, but makes something worse? Hey, if playing with their newfound minds keeps the dark spawn away from Orzammar, I'm happy. Thank you, Commander. I realize what a leap of faith this is for you. I hope that I prove worthy of your trust. The mother lies ahead, Warden. I cannot approach her physically. Her children protect her from my power. But when you reach her, I will do whatever I can to help you. You have my promise. Anders is upset, but I mean, it is what it is. All right, well, give me a moment before we go down that hallway. All right, uh, we are back, and my controller's not on the right screen. All right, uh, okay. We need to go further down. Wait, did I grab all? No, nope. I'm sure there's a crystal in there. Huh. Yep. We'll save right here because I don't know if some weird she is is gonna happen. I guess he's good. Oh. God, there's so many people here. And I'm off. Does he have a crystal? Oh, he had hella gold. All right. Oh, I think I can help with that. Okay, waiting for some of my buffs to decrease and this could be the key. thing. I'm just going to save in case there's a bug here so we have to wait to fight these guys down here. Alright, let's go. Now the 
pieces fall into place. The Grey Warden comes, the instrument of the Father. Oh, and the Father, he is but a shadow. Oh, how my children protect me. How they love me. I have told you many times, Mother. I am not the Father. I am simply the architect. It does not change what you are! You took away that beautiful music. Left us with nothing. It was a mistake to free you. It has left you with madness. I am truly sorry. Oh. Uh, what is done is done. The mother is a whore and must die. What is done is done. The mother is a whore and must die. Ah, but perhaps the warden would like to hear how it was that the father began the blight. You want the source of the archdemon? The one who brought all our kind to the surface? Here he is! Well, paint me green and call me a turnip. Ah, there it is then. Unfortunate. I did find the old god, Athemio, but I did not wish another blight. I attempted my joining ritual. My hope was that this would free all Darkspawn, unravel the curse from its source. Alas, I was unlucky. Uh, do you even think about... Do you even think about the repercussions of your actions? It is not the way of the Grey Wardens to do what must be done. In the name of combating the Blight, the Blight is a menace, both for your people and for mine. To end it requires sacrifice and risk. And how lonely the father was. How terrible to be the outcast, the outsider. He claims he wishes the Darkspawn to be free, but what he truly wants is to correct them. However you feel about what I have done, the Mother is mad. She cannot be allowed to... Be gone, Shadow! You cannot harm the Mother any more than you already have. And now the hero is alone. Mother knows your ways. You will not let her be, no, not after what she's done. So it must end. It all must come crashing down. Perhaps we will hear the song again when we die. Oh, let it come. Let it come. Mage boy needs health. All right, give me one moment. I have to kill her, but it's, she's gonna be kind of tanky. All right, we just beat her. After the death, the mother and the remaining darkspawn forces scattered and fled into the deep roads, and the raid of Amaranthine came to an abrupt end. The architect apparently kept his word, gathering the remaining disciples to follow the rest of their kind back underground. Those Grey Wardens and other nations and other nations were upheld to hear that architect continued existence, but were unable to track him down despite years of effort. 
Some within the order have claimed that the architect's survival guarantees another blight, and yet the deep roads have lately been quieter than any can recall. Most have resigned and designed, resignedly decided that it is now in the maker's hands. The destructions of Amaranthine did not endure the great wardens to the people of Ferelden. Although most of the citizens wanted to forget the terrible event and get on with a get on with life, a small segment ple, pledged to exact revenge against the wardens. People whispered that the commander of the Grey was trying to influence Ferelden's politics once again, and suggested burning Amaranthine down part as a larger plot to gain power. Okay, so blah blah blah. The Grey Warrens hailed Commander Defense Vigil as a critical victory. The Order's more clever recruits often spend days studying the, the accounts in an attempt to understand the Commander's tactics. Um, it became a trading hall, eventually eclipsed the city of Amaranthine with traders, or through the guards, patrolling, blah 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 blah, over the years to come. Peace allowed the Wardens to replenish their numbers. Soon, vigils keep it on blah blah blah. Wardens from the ranks emerge new heroes to challenge threats to Amaranthine and all over Ferelden. Though Taxes and Leaves was rebuilt years later, stood on the battlements, produced the defense were acceptable, and he would never speak more highly of any human engineering. Uh, the final battle against the Darkspawn. Whispers hint that the conspiracy of the Wardens of Amaranthine is still afoot. Okay. With Vivian and the Architect gone from the region, the Pilgrim's Path began to see tra uh, traffic again. Okay. Bozomar, Shaprit, invited to the great honor defending. Okay. Black Marsh. Two months later, returns to the Order af ever after the Wardens were his home and his lasting companions. Was never saw again, but neither did she forsake her Dalish culture, nor her shaped uh, tongue, nor her quick temper. Several years in the Grey Wardens, she disappeared one day. Most surmised she left for the deep roads to resume the research for, for her sister or the search for her sister no one knows for sure uh, after saving Turkuslin from a bandit attack and portion of Amaranthine was returned to the house Nathaniel passed the holding to Delilah's son when the new castle was eventually built there Statue of Nathaniel was erected in its courtyard. Uh, oh, yeah, but it has his original face. He looked very uh, gruesome. Uh, mother dead. Games. All right. All right. We beat Awakening. Oh, now the next step is... We'll start it right now, too, but... Actually, give me a moment to uh, make sure this is going to be the right one. Alrighty, we're back. And I guess the next thing we would have to do is the Golems of Armorak. That's the next one we would have to do. Okay, so we'll do import from the module. Yep. And import. They called it Amgarak. Victory. Out of arrogance or optimism. They hoped to earn a victory for the dwarven people by recreating Caradin's research. But the tide was abandoned. The researchers lost. The deep road swallowed Amgarak in the dream of reclaiming our former glory. While the dark spawn ravaged the surface, we sent an expedition to uncover the Taig. My brother was with them. They never returned. I write to you, Warden. 
because you have accomplished things others have declared impossible. Help me find my brother and bring him home. This is a matter of great sensitivity and I can trust no one but you. Ever your humble servant, Jarek Dace. Thank you again for helping me, Warden. Everyone else had given up, but I couldn't abandon Brogan. He's my brother. I apologize for insisting that you come alone. House Dace does not want the location of Amgarok known to the rest of Orzammar. Why ask for my help? King Haramont told me you were the one to look for. He said if anyone could save Brogan, you could. You're being secretive. House Day sacrificed many men to discover this place. Any knowledge found here should be ours, to do with as we please. Of course, Brogan is my primary concern, but Amgarak hides secrets. Great ones. Are you expecting trouble? An expedition of over 20 men doesn't just disappear. There's something in there, and I'm guessing it's not friendly. I don't think we'll encounter many Darkspawn. Our scouts reported seeing them near Amgarok, but they never attacked, only observed. Let's move on. Amgarok is not too far ahead. All right, and here comes our journey to solve this. But I'm probably going to end the video, and we'll start the next one, um, you know, next week. We'll probably do the hour again, try to complete this as fast as possible and skip a lot of cutscenes which i think we only have one fight in here so yeah i'll see you guys shortly bye